Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make the chocolate cells and we're gonna be using some Gardelli white uh, melting wafers, a bowl, a spatula, and we need parchment paper and we're gonna be using the microwave. For this project, we also need some cloth pins or some binder clips. We're gonna start by placing some of the wafers on a microwavable container and we're gonna put it on the microwave for 30 seconds and the warmth on the container should help us finish the melting process. Once it is completely melted, we're gonna put some of the chocolate on our parchment paper. And using the offset spatula, we're gonna spread it around. Just make sure you leave a space on the bottom and on the top so we can make the folds and create the cell. As you can see on the video, I'm taking my time to smooth the surface out because I want it to be very, very sleek and smooth, so it looks very nice. If you need to add more chocolate to the edges and to smooth the edges, go ahead and do that. What I've noticed is that you cannot go too thin or too thick with the chocolate. Um, I think it is something that you need to play with uh, so you can get the right uh, thickness of the chocolate. Once you're happy with the thickness of the chocolate, it is time to make the pleats. And we're gonna do this by folding the bottom part of the sail or the paper. I put a cloth pin and I fix the pleats at the top of the paper. Put the chocolate sail aside and let it cool off. On this next cell, you're gonna see why it is important to leave a space at the bottom and at the top of our parchment paper. Also, you can see why the thickness of the chocolate is very important. After 10 minutes, my chocolate is completely set and I'm gonna remove the cloth pin and then also the parchment paper. Remember, we're working with chocolate, so be very careful when you remove the parchment paper With a blade, you can remove the excess of chocolate at the edges. You can kind of like carve the chocolate and just give it a smooth finish. And you can do the same at the bottom of the pleats because they stuck together. So just make a little cut and you're gonna see that it comes out very nice. To add the gold color, I'm using a highlighter. You can apply it directly but it's gonna give you a better finish if you add some alcohol to the highlighter and just start painting the chocolate. The alcohol is gonna evaporate really fast. You can do one or two coats of the highlighter depending on how much color you want on the cell. When working with powdered colors and highlighters, I highly recommend you using a parchment paper underneath your project or paper towels because the powder is gonna fly everywhere and you don't wanna stain your surfaces. Let it dry completely before placing it on the cake. And that is all. Thank you for watching. Bye.